Welcome to the last episode in my Ultimate Caribbean Port series. Have I saved the best till last? I think so. Welcome to St. Kitts. Wow, what a view to wake up to every single morning. Welcome to St. Kitts. We have such a busy day planned today in St. Kitts, from riding the sugarcane train, then over to Shipwreck Barns, Shipwreck Beach. But first things first, let's have a look around the cruise port. Now I think St. Kitts Cruise Port is probably my favourite out of all the ports we visited. There's so many shops, so many bars, restaurants. The atmosphere is really good. It's spotlessly clean. Everyone's really friendly. Plus, they've got an amazing coffee shop selling these donuts. Now they were that good, I just had to have two of them. Now there were four ships in this morning and it was getting really busy. We booked the sugar train tour, which we had to meet at 8.30 a.m. from the Smoke and Boo store located to the left of the St. Kitts logo. The tour guide was carrying a green TripAdvisor flag and here we are on our way. But I booked the sugar train through Facebook group Caribbean Island Tours and it was $100 per person. Uh, it was two hours on the train and then also included was a little bit of an island tour. So the transport was included from the minute we left the ship and brought us back to the ship. As we left the cruise port, we headed up to this stunning, stunning area. Infamous in St. Kitts is Timothy Hill. Now, as you can see, it's absolutely stunning. This is where the Atlantic Ocean meets the Caribbean Sea. It's one of the most stunning uh, viewpoints in St. Kitts and it's highly, highly recommended. So we leave Timothy Hill and make our way seeing some more of the island as we go further north to where the scenic uh, railway train departs from, passing some lovely beaches on the way. On our right, you'll find the St. George's <coughs> Anglican Church. And where this church stands today is where the first Anglican Church was built on our island. So this road we're on is called, anybody? Church Street. Church Street. Oh, you see the sign? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had such a great guy. He was an amazing driver and a great tour guide. Good sense of humour. Uh, but if you didn't know, St Kitts is located in the Eastern Caribbean, 1,200 miles from Miami and four hours behind UK time. It's 69 square miles with a population of 40,000. Uh, Eastern Caribbean dollars and US dollars are accepted. Welcome to St Kitts Scenic Railway. As you can see, it's uh, double-decker. Now, it was really, really hot this day and somebody had said to us, go underneath, go on the bottom deck because there's air conditioning, it's too hot at the top. I'm so glad we did, that was a really good tip. Now, all your drinks are included as well, rum punches, pina coladas and soft drinks are aplenty. So as the lovely waitress comes to take our order of rum punches, then we sit back and enjoy the scenery. Now you may not know that this train is over a hundred years old and it was used to transport the sugarcane from the sugarcane plantations to the sugar factory in Basseterre. One thing I wasn't expecting though was this. <laughs> So with the entertainment finished, we went to the back of the train to stand on this viewpoint to take a closer look at the incredible, incredible scenery. The train winds along the island's coastline, past cane fields and abandoned plantations, really providing you with some incredible, incredible views. Now, it may be a little bumpy at times, but this really is a magical way to see the island and add that with some amazing insight into the history together with rum punches galore. It really is a fabulous, fabulous trip.
After the train ride, the guide takes you then back to the ship, but we decided to ask for a detour to one very special bar. Welcome to Shipwreck Bar on Shipwreck Beach. Only 20 minutes from the cruise port, Shipwreck Bar on Shipwreck Beach is one of the best Caribbean beach bars on the island of St. Kitts. The sea here is so warm and inviting. The service is fantastic, as is the onward supply of curry beers. The food is great, as very much recommend uh, the nachos. I absolutely loved it here. And if you add the addition of the odd monkey or two, Shipwreck Bar really is highly recommended. I would always check in your cruise port how many ships are in port. Now there were four in port so it was really busy. But if you don't have anything pre-booked, there are lots of agents and tour companies touting for business when you get off the ship. So as the sun starts to set on the stunning island of St Kitts, we head back to the ship to enjoy evening celebrations on board Arvia. What an incredible day we had.